Hey you guys, so we're about to get into this pick a card that I posted yesterday. At first I was going to do three separate videos, but I'm just going to do one whole video and going to put where you can find one, two, and three in it. Um, so we're going to get into what this week has for us. Of whichever pile it is that you chose so i'm going to start off with the first pile and i'm gonna put my camera down so you guys can see the cards and all of that and we are going to get started okay so it's black she picks up everything all right so if you chose pile one he chose the gold stone. Um, gold stones represent, it talks about stepping into your power. It talks about bringing your ideas, grounding them and bringing them into fruition um, and basically doing the work. It also speaks about what is coming from what it is that you have applied your energy to and manifesting that. So those things may be a big focus for you guys. So first we are going to get into the general aspect of everything. Four of Wands, Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, okay. Queen of Cups. King of Cups, King of Wands. Yeah, so. <laughs> You guys are definitely focused on manifesting, on putting in the effort to um, make things real, uh, putting in the action, the spirited nature, the inspiration, and listening to the divine messages that are coming to you. This may also um, have either a divine masculine involved and divine feminine involved. This might be about a relationship as well. Um, a need to show up differently so that you can achieve this four of wands, this ability within your relationship. But if it's not about a relationship, this is more speaking of uh, you following your intuition, the calling so that you can manifest fully so that you can um, apply what is needed to be applied so that these ideas, these how it is and where it is that you're inspired can come full circle for you. And it's, it's going to be rapid movement, whatever you have going on, whether it's a relationship, whether this is you coming into a new way of doing something, a new way of doing anything or you know, and I shouldn't have said a new way of doing anything, a new something that you're doing, right? This is, you need to follow your intuition, um, stay grounded in your emotions and uh, kind of, I want to say, don't be in the space of emotional manipulation or immaturity of trying to get your way of things, but more so listening to the call of where it is that you are guided to me, the Queen of Cups is like the minor arcana of the High Priestess. So it's like you really need to be paying attention to what's going on within yourself so that you can flow, right? Because then it's intuition comes, then it sparks this inspiration, and then you take the action. And you have all of that here. It's just a need to do so. And if it is, it is about a relationship, uh, then you definitely need to be listening to yourself uh, this this queen and this king have their backs to one another so it's like maybe there's been some disagreement about how things should move how things should go you know but stability is 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 here you know you need to see that it's like the king in a sense already knows that but this queen is like uh I need some more signs, you know? So let's let's look at these challenges that you have this week. The six of air, the ace of air, 
Sapana, Sapana, Sapana. You really need to tap in. <laughs> and you need to take whatever transition it is that you are not based out of blinding yourself or not. It's almost as if you need to change your mind and how it is that you're thinking. You need to go within and, and take stock of where it is you're doing this. It's almost as if you are afraid to see things from a higher perspective. Like, it's funny, me and my husband had this conversation last night about uh, being in states of consciousness and still operating from this lower standpoint and how that is not, it's just, it's not a, acceptable when you are in a certain space of consciousness you know you have to see things from a higher perspective because that is the only way that you can be in the space to receive what it is that you want to receive the insight that you need to move forward to take the action you know so it's like if anything is going to stop you it's your own mind you don't blind yourself out of not wanting to go in to see what the real issue is. Don't place blame outside of yourself when it's really within you, okay? So the self-care, we have the leap, so you need to trust, have faith in the decisions it is that you're making, the choices that you are doing. Um, you need to have faith in yourself and trust that you are making the right decisions for yourself it says no so say no to what is not no longer serving you right say no to these thoughts that do not resonate with you to this these ways of perceiving things so it's like you need to go in and take a stock take stock of your emotional nature so you can see what um, mental patterns it's triggering you and it's time for you to answer the call. You need to listen to what, it, what is it that your soul is calling you to do? Where are you going? Where are you headed to? Where are you trying to get to? You need to trust that you're going to get there and leave behind what is no longer um, allowing you to move forward in this fashion, this quick fashion that has... Um, that it, I mean to be here you've already been here right you've already been doing this in a sense so it's like you need to continue to trust it do not say no to what has been given to you so what it is that you've created continue to go forth what is it that you where, where's your soul going you know like it's cool to listen to your heart, but what, what does God want you to do? What, or what has you and God, what is it that you and God have come together and orchestrated for your life? What are you co-creating? You need to go with that. So the advice, the ancient ones, the ancient ones speak about ancestors and forgiveness and karma. And it's time to let that go. You need to start anew a blank slate something fresh you cannot continue to hold on to past things you cannot continue to hold on to um old ways of being that produce old circumstances and expect to be able to go into a new space with that same state of mind with those same emotions being harbored with that same lack of forgiveness so perhaps Okay, let's say this is a relationship, right? It's a, it's a relationship that you started or whatever. It's on its way. And, but you're still holding on to old things from the past of old, of things that happened to you with old people. It's time to let that go, right? Because that had to do with karma. You need to consult with your ancestors. You need to sit with them. Let them come in and intervene and intercede. Pay attention to your dreams. What else is here? Medicine wheel. It's time for you. You need to do whatever healing work it is. <laughs> wow. Okay. You need to do whatever healing work it is that you need to do so that you can move forward in your courage, in your wisdom, so that you can see the bigger picture, so that you go can go with the flow instead of allowing these mental constructs that you've built within yourself 
to stop you from this end game, from this end goal. You're going somewhere, but the only person who's going to stop you from succeeding will be yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive the people that you witnessed. You know, it, let's say this is about something you're building, work, right? So maybe there are people that you experience things with that kind of uh, rubs you the wrong way. You didn't get the support you wanted to or however it may be know that everything that exists in our life is because it is an emanation from us if our life looks good it's because we feel good we want good if our life is in shambles it's because we internally in shambles so go within and, 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 and reconcile this energy that you have built within yourself that's creating stagnation within you from operating at this soul level because you're there but you're letting your mind like throw you off go within consult within don't be so caught up in the work don't be so caught up in the having and the doing more so i should say the doing because this is not really about having anything um and missing what it is that's being offered to you you know what's being given to you so okay power one i hope that that was helpful that is what you got for this week let me know if this has been helpful for you and if it has please feel free to leave me a love offering i'll have a link below in in my bio that you can share some love Okay, so we're off to pile two. Pile two, you chose the rose quartz. So rose quartz is about gentleness. It is about, it's a feminine energy as well. So this is meaning passivity, yin energy, rest. This is also about love, um, divine love, love, self-love, you know, self-love that you can share and give to others. You know, first you have to love yourself. Um, this can also be speaking about needing to not be so aggressive, a needing to relax a little bit, you know. Um, this is also about tapping in self-care, really needing that, really... Uh, em embracing that on a daily basis, you know, not skipping that ever because you it's very difficult to have a good day if you wake up and don't take care of yourself. You know, it, you may have a, a day that flows, but it's still not as fruitful, not as, as um, potent not as prosperous as it could be if you gave yourself the love that you extend to others out of trying to do things too quickly take your time with whatever so let's see what this general energy has for you power two six of wands the hermit four swords the lovers fear okay pile two this is definitely something about self-love because <laughs> you got the lovers here the lovers can speak about a relationship but this is more about connecting to our wholeness aligning our heart and minds right because this is about this is a gemini ruled card so it's about the mental state that we carry ourselves in and then you have this four swords here so it's like is something going on that you need to take a rest in go you need to tap in much like power one you need to go within and check into your wisdom perhaps this feels like a blow to the ego that just recently happened because you got the six of wands here and granted six of wands is usually about successes that we achieve in our life right but it also has to do with ego and going about things in that fashion 
and it's maybe that something didn't turn out how it is that you expected because you were operating from a space of being in your ego and this has caused you to have to or is causing you to have to go within and check yourself take a break from trying to figure things out and recognize who you are in your holdings right so when we are in our ego this has to do with us being caught up on one aspect of ourself not seeing ourselves as whole right but the seer card is here and it's you know when you take the time to pause when you take the time to be still right so that you can know it allows you to be able to see the full picture to see how all these things came together and allows you to kind of put the pieces together and recognize how it is that you have been showing up and how it's kind of been a, a space of self-sabotage in a sense. Um, you know, this can also be, you know, with the way that this is progressing, granted, this can also be that you achieved something and it's still time to take a break. It's time to come back in to, to rest for a little while and not be so caught up in the movement of trying to create things. Come back down into wholeness, bring your, you know, realign yourself, you know, and then still this is showing you how all things work together. You know, seeing the interconnectedness, the oneness that is available to you now if this is relationship energy um you may be seeing the benefit of the relationships in your life in this time of stillness you know and how it is that they support you how it is that they bring uh fullness and, and completeness in a sense to your to your life to your soul to your well-being you know, because this is the old way of seeing things, going about things is coming to an end for you and really bringing you this sense of, uh, I don't want to say completion, but this sense of um, surety, I should say, of where it is you're going, how it is that you're going to get there, but you need to take some time to rest and kind of contemplate on where you are right now and what it's going to take to get to where it is that you're going. Let's see these challenges. The night, yeah. Okay. Oh. Do you feel like that you've been left out in the desert with no water? That something, something, it seems like something changed that you were moving after and it didn't turn out how you expected. But that mean that that just means that you need to go within and see what went wrong. What did you, what step was miss, what was the misstep? You know, you did the work and it's almost like what you were attempting to achieve didn't. Maybe you feel like that you were deceived in a sense. If there was someone that you were working with in moving to towards your ambitions. Also, if you have been around people who feed your ego, kind of living this life of just drunkenness. And this doesn't necessarily mean alcohol or anything like that, but just a life of escapism. You may be recognizing these people who don't really serve you well, who don't mean well to you. And you're recognizing this through going in and taking the time it is that you need to see your own self, see how all of these things are connected. You know, you don't necessarily need to understand why, because it's kind of difficult to 
know the why this happened until we get to the end of whatever it is that we're getting to, <laughs> going to, you know? Don't, don't run away from doing the work, the inner work, that internal stillness, you need that. It seems like you've been going, 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 and you need a break. And however it is that you've been going has not been the healthiest for you. It has not been emotionally fulfilling for you. It's almost been like empty. And you landed yourself out in the middle of nowhere and looking like, where's my help? I need some help. Someone come for me. But the only person who can come for you is you. <laughs> you know, you got to come for yourself so self-care counsel of light you have helpers know that you are being supported at this time um everything that's happening for it happening right now is happening for you so that you can come to this space of realization of okay this is not working break the chain yeah it's time to rewrite things it's time to do the healing you need to take a break whatever it is that you have going on you need to stop it, whether, whether it's you thinking or if it's you just living this life that's unhealthy for you. Because you got this six of earth here in, in, the, in the challenge section. So that's about health. You know, this is about feeling good, getting better. And with it being a challenge, whatever it is that's been going on, it's not helping you do that. So it's kind of time to take a break with that, like, come it's time for you to go within into that darkness into that space of solitude so that you can recognize yourself and see how it is that you are not allowing yourself the best of what it is that you want you know and at the same time whatever it is that you're doing say it is that you're trying to achieve something trying to find success in some type of venture that you're building you need to stop taking it so seriously that may be the whole problem like you are not having a good time with this you're not having fun with this like play have fun celebrate where you've been so that you can enjoy where you're going even if you did have some relationships that tended to be so sabotage i mean tended to um, not be what you expected them to be. Still celebrate that as well for offering you the wisdom that you needed to be able to move forward and release the things that continue to hold you back. Nothing, nothing is, is a bad thing. We have to believe that in order to really be able to move forward in a space of, you know, positivity in a sense and not that positivity that negates the things that have happened, but true positivity of believing like, okay, even though this happened, everything's going to be okay. And I can still enjoy life. You know, you are supported wherever you're going, wherever you're headed. You just need to, you know, make better choices. Have a good time. Yeah. Things are in a sense coming full circle for you coming out of old cycles one moment, I'm sure I just woke up. Okay, so the circle also speaks about, it's about ending cycles, but you need to come to the space of letting go whatever it is that's no longer serving you. You know, recognizing the interconnectedness of all of your experience, that's the seer, you know, and it is also the lovers you know because if that is too about oneness it's about wholeness of the self but also how it is that we connect and relate to others um we first have to be able to let go of things that hold us down that weigh us down it seems to be of a mental nature here for you and continue to do what it is that you have been doing whatever that has been good for you do that. Continue forth with that. Have fun with that. Don't take things so seriously. When if if you feel like you have not been celebrated, so what? <laughs> Celebrate yourself. Have fun. 
You don't need other people. Granted, it is great and wonderful and a blessing and, and kind to be seen and recognized by others. But sometimes the only reason we are not seen and recognized by others is because we're not actually doing it for ourselves. The next card you have is the corn. So what you're doing right now is seems to be, if it's of a, um, a work nature, it's going to bring you much profit. But if there has also been things that you have planted that have not reaped or reaped the benefits that you desired, perhaps you sold a seed that was not needful for you in this space in your journey, that was not necessary, that was not going to support you in getting forward into where it is that you've been going. You just need to really acknowledge that continue forth but kind of it seems like have a new mind find a new way something along those lines so that you can reap the harvest because the harvest it is that you are trying to reap will be plentiful and it will be enough for everyone and more just enjoy the process when things don't turn out how you expect them that is okay Love yourself enough to know that if you keep going, you will receive what it is that you were trying to achieve. It's all in a matter of looking at the picture in the correct way with the correct eyes, seeing how things fit so that you can recognize what it is that needs to be released so that you can succeed, so that you can achieve. Recognize who it is that you are all right, so that you can see why it is all these things are happening the way in which it is that they are happening and enjoy this experience. And that might be the most important of it all. So pile two, I hope that that was helpful for you. If so, please do let me know. And if you are feeling generous, you can leave me a love offering today for this gift card. All right, we are off to Pile three. Hi, pile three. So you chose citrine. Hmm. So citrine is a lot about yeah. manifesting. It's about confidence. It's about self-expression. It is about having the courage to continue forth you know, facing those foes. Not, I'm not talking about foes, about the people outside of you, but the things that bring obstacles. You know, it's also, a, it's an abundance stone as well. It is, oh, it's about continuing putting one step in front of the other and being courageous in doing so, having the strength to do so and expressing yourself clearly from a place of really not being attached to any one specific thing, right? So it's about trust as well. So let's see what this general energy has for you, Pal 3. The Wheel of Fortune. So something is ending, something is changing, or something is coming through. The Hangman. You know, I've been seeing things clearly. Two of Pentacles holding two different, two different, not necessarily ideas, but wanting to have many things. Maybe overburden in a sense. Ace of Swords. Judgment. Okay. Woof. This chord, y'all. <laughs> This cord just moved in my peripheral. All right. <laughs> okay. So um, the Wheel of Fortune says that something is ending. You know, this is about really coming out of a fixed state of being so that you can open yourself up to the abundance that you want in your life, the the fulfillment that you want into your life. 
and perhaps you've been going about this in a way that's been kind of confusing but there's something that you need to surrender to you need to surrender to the process and it, it seems like oh okay so have you been trying to control too many things um based out of what you believe that they should be because if that is the case you have not been seeing things clearly and that's not how that that's just not how it really it works you know you can't you can juggle many things at a time. You can do that, but at the same time, it's gonna take, it, it needs some type of balance, that work-life balance. Are you giving as much to yourself as you are giving to what it is that you're trying to produce, to the money it is that you're trying to gain, to the things it is that you wanna have? You know, but it's something you are coming to some realization and it's changing your mind. You're seeing things differently, perceiving things differently, right? Because how you're feeling about things are shifting and allow it. That's going to make space that it's going to allow you to be able to juggle many things, you know, be able to have this and that, you know, and but it's, it's you're coming to a place of rebirth. You are really changing, metamorphosizing, you know, bringing old parts of yourself back to the forefront so that they can support you in where it is that you are going. This is like a calling of God. You got the hangman here in the judgment card and the will of fortune. So this is faded energy. It's like you've been holding on to something for so long that spirit your guides has have, are intervening like okay it's time for you to wake up because you are not seeing things clearly and but through this you are coming to a new state of mind a new way of perceiving things have you been seeing yourself as a victim in something the hanged one this is pisces and neptune energy you are not a victim we none of us are victims we have the ability to change our circumstances um, at a whim, at a moment's notice. Granted, not everybody has that luxury, but majority of us do. So, yes, 22. So you're walking into a new door this week. Things are changing. One thing I didn't mention in the other two, we, Mercury is going into retrograde. So this is having us like kind of, Mercury kind of clarifies what it is that we weren't seeing clearly. Um, it helps us really put the meat onto what it is that we believe, our beliefs, our perspectives, and all of those things. It um, and then um, Libra. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay, so yes, it's like you're walking through a new door of recognizing in a sense how you're responsible for all the cards that you hold in your hand let's see what your challenges are pal three nine of fire two of earth ten of water so you want this emotional fulfillment you know maybe oh so it seems like you need to in a, need to have better boundaries in a sense needing to apply more self-care to you more so that you can attain this emotional standing that you want for yourself you have the two of earth again, which is the same as the two of pentacles. But in this deck, it speaks about doing something, you know, that you can no longer, that's not going to be able to carry you forth. That's not going to give you um, the momentum that you think it is going to offer you out of it just being too much in a sense. You know, so... I want to say take some time to give your and give yourself some space for your mind to change so that you can hear what it is 
your soul is really trying to share with you, what your intuition is sharing with you, what God is trying to intercede, what spirit is, is presenting forth to you. It's almost as if you are lacking the confidence in where it is that you are desiring to expand to, but there, it, it, you need to tap into your innocence, you know, and, and because whatever you're holding on to, it's, it's heavy. It's weighing you down. It's not allowing the fish to rise out the water. Instead, it, they are staying underneath the current. It's okay for things to come to light. That's the only way for them to be extinguished of what is no longer working. Let's see what this self-care has to say for you. Inner temple, yes, okay. So you need to tune in, you need to go within, you need to apply some type of devotion, some type of spiritual practice. You need to get up in the morning and maybe do some journaling, journaling. see what your heart is saying to you before you go to bed, journal. Get this heavy weight off of you so that you can release it and move forward because whatever you're clinging on to is time for it to come down you have to let go of the past you have to let go of these illusions that you're carrying these states of 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 victimization these these fixed states of being that you've been in so you can open up and create the space for your abundance to flow into you because it's there it's just waiting for you to open up and walk through the gates into the garden. What is this? The age of light. You already, yeah, it lives within you. The age of light says you've been training for this for lifetimes. What you've been doing or where you're going, where you're headed, you already have everything it is that you need. All of your experiences have really provided you with the wisdom and the insight to be able to accomplish the life it is that you truly want. But you first have to believe that. So really getting into your heart space, what is it that you really want? You need to be devoted to that. You need to be sure of that. You need to put in the work for that, you know, and let go what can no longer carry you. Oh, wow. The mystical shaman. So yeah, this is all about not being tied to ghosts of the past. This is about letting go of stories that you've been tied to for so long that have been keeping you in this fixed state, in this victimizing state of mind. Like it's really time to see things with, uh, in, in a new light so that you can, because once you change your mind about what it is that you believe about yourself, what it is that you believe about your circumstances and what you've experienced, will you find that emotional fulfillment, that happy life, that fulfilling life that you want? You know, that's gonna, that's gonna be that, that catalyst to you rebirthing yourself, you know, really having that, that joy of that innocent state of you, innocent state of being that you it's, are deeply desiring and it's going to allow you to have all of the things that you want in the space that you need to hold all of these things. Because a lot of, a lot of times when we don't have the space to do something, it's because we're still yeah. holding on to something oh, that needs to be let go of that we're still holding on to. So it's time to forgive yourself, forgive others, release it. What is this? Oh, you need to throw it into the flames, let go of what has no longer, what can no longer serve you, what no longer serves you. This is also talking about your temperament. So in the event that you have been holding on to things and letting them explode, it's time to let that go. It's time to stop reacting and instead responding, sitting with things and seeing what is truly there and how it is that your actions have kind of allotted you into the place it is that you are in right now. You know, give it to the flames, let it incinerate and allow the phoenix to rise. The phoenix, this is what judgment is. It's about the phoenix rising. The regular, the, the original card for judgment in the um, 
Rider Waite tarot deck are people being raised from their coffins um, by an angel with the horn of God, with the call of God. And so it's in a sense time for you to answer the call, release what no longer serves you. Do not continue to let old stories um, bog you down. You are the creator of your story. Allow yourself to have a blank slate so that you can then create what it is that you want because what you say goes write things down make it real and let the rest let what's not working for you start not serve you it's funny you have this mystical shaman with this crumbling and then the fire and these are all very they they fit so well like it's it's time to not be attached you need to move forward without attachment with a free uh, with a light heart in a free mind so that you can kind of jump into the current and allow the flow to take you where it's going. But you first have to release what is weighing you down. And as long as you continue going through these mental cycles that are kind of uh, causing a lot of chaos within you, they it's gonna continue. But this week, this new moon in Libra, it's really about to transform. It's gonna give us that push that we need in order to really carry out in the way in which it is that we desire. So, Pal 3, I hope that that has been helpful. I'm gonna raise up this camera. If you watch this whole video, thank you for being here. Oh my goodness. Bashar is up, y'all. So, um, if you have watched this whole video, thank you so much for being here. I hope that this was helpful for to you guys. Um, I will be sharing more videos here on Instagram, and I'm going to share this on my YouTube too. But just to make it easier for those who are here and don't really deal with the whole YouTube area, that's fine. I will be leaving some information below for those of you who feel called to offer a love offering for me if this has been of some help to you so i hope that you all have a wonderful week and that you step up in your life and choose to do what it is that you need to do for you because oh you are in control and you have power the power lives within you and as soon as you believe that that will be so i love you all so much sending you all of my love and many blessings bye